ولله الأسماء الحسنى فادعوه بها يا الملك He is the King of the Kings and indeed is the Master of the Day of Judgment. He is the Lord of all creation. The Master of the Day of Judgment is one who runs the affairs of the masses according to his will. Malik, Master, is one who has total possession of creation and has this possession without the help of any partnership and that this is not applicable to anyone but Allah. Unlike a Malik, king, from whom one seeks everything, the term Malik, master, denotes that God is responsible for everything, including food, reward, and punishment. The rule of God is not like any kingship of this world. Rather, it has total ownership and control. God has expounded the good and the bad deeds to us and has given us free will in this world and has told us that He has the right to punish and that the decision to punish or forgive is with Him. The promised Messiah, on whom be peace, said, that the attribute of Master of the Day of Judgment demands that we turn to Him with extreme and utmost humility, sincerity, and meekness. Those who turn to Allah in the manner of a completely helpless and powerless person and do actually and genuinely believe in their utter incapacity as they submit, find beneficence, from this divine quality. Malik is a quality of deed that promotes and advocates a profusion of mercy and compassion. However, how can man imbibe this divine attribute on a human level? Adopting mastership means that man may do justice and may avoid evil. In this capacity, he also overlooks others' wrongs, either out of mercy, compassion, or forgiveness. These human qualities only come to the fore when one is in authority and possesses control over something. One's good moral qualities and courtesy only come into focus when one is given status. An awareness of the attribute of Malikiyat turns one heart tender with the awe of punishment and thus generates a true insight.